Max Blasky with you here. Washington County, Jim, last game of TVL tournament action for 2023. About ready to get tipped off between the number two seeded Blue Valley Rams and the number four seeded Axel Eagles. It's going to be a great matchup here between two ranked teams in this contest. Blue Valley comes in ranked as the seventh team in 1A Division Two. While Axel comes in ranked third in 1A Division Two, of course, Blue Valley having an outstanding season. They come in with a record of 10 and one after going 11 and 12 last year. So if they can get a win here tonight, they will already tie their win total from last year. Also, Blue Valley looking for their first ever TVL Tournament Championship here today against the Axel Eagles. It has been since 2013 that Axel was able to get a victory here in the tournament. So a nine-year hiatus for the Eagles, who come in, like we said, as a good team themselves, 9-2, and two, ranked third in 1A Division Two. We're going to take a timeout, come back and look at both of these matchups, as well as how they got here on TVL Tournament Championship Monday here in Washington. Fat Tire in Frankfurt is the place to go for tires in Frankfurt. Why drive anywhere else? Offering a full range of tires, including Kelly tires and Hankook tires. Get the very best in tire technology for superior handling and longevity. Fat Tire will keep you on the road and headed to where you need to be. Replacements or repairs, they'll get you rolling again. Fat Tire in Frankfurt, a proud supporter of the Frankfurt Wildcats. Good luck. Not everyone can become a Lennox dealer, so you'll be glad to know when you buy a Lennox from Hanover Electric Incorporated, you not only get the best products in the business, you also get a traditional experience in making sure your home is as comfortable as it can be. Because every independent Lennox dealer must pass the Lennox Quality Dealer Standards Program, the toughest test in the industry, and what it means is you get a dealer you could always count on. Lennox, one last thing to worry about. When you own a business of any kind, you need an insurance policy that will protect it. You need business insurance that perfectly suits your industry, and Blue Valley Insurance is proud to offer it. When you get an insurance policy from us, you are taking the first step towards protecting your business, your employees, and yourself. Let's start with an overview of the types of coverage you can expect. Stop by for quotes at Blue Valley Insurance in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. This is the time of year to reflect on last year's crop cycle and make plans for next year. There are many decisions to be made and many options available. We'd like to help make the financial side of your planning a little easier. Our ag lenders know agriculture and they're local. Stop by and see us. Let's talk about next year. Citizen State Bank. Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. We're just making a living, making things grow. 2023 Boys Tournament Championship about ready to get underway between the Blue Alley Rams and the Axel Eagles. Looking at how the Rams got here, they came in as the number two overall seed. They defeated Washington County back on Monday, 58 to 35, then defeated Hanover, uh, 56 to 52 on Friday evening. Axel came in as the number four overall seed. They have had to play three games to get here. They defeated Frankfurt last Saturday, 59 to 35, then defeated Troy, 53 to 45. That first game was 59 to 35, second game, 53 to 45 there on Monday, and then defeated the number one overall seeded Clifton Clyde Eagles Friday evening in a thriller, 51 to 44. We're going to take one more time out, come back with starters for this contest between the Blue Valley Rams and the Axel Eagles for your 2023 TVL Tournament Championship. To keep your vehicle running good and looking good, all you need is m Auto Parts in Frankfurt. Motor oil, air filters, spark plugs, batteries, brakes, and more. m also has what you need for the outside of the vehicle. Wheel cleaners, glass cleaners, washes, and waxes. That's m Auto Parts, your CarQuest Auto Parts dealer in Frankfurt. Quality health care dedicated to your satisfaction. That's the standard of the Hanover Hospital and Warren Clinic. Your choice for quality care right where you live. Doctors Roger and Linda Warren and nurse practitioners Aubrey Schaefer and Jada Edgar offer general hospital and surgery services, home health, swing beds, and long-term care. Hanover Hospital and the Warren Clinic, your choice for quality health care right where you live. 
Coolman Implement and Hardware is your Agco Alice, White, Hesting, Leaner, and Gel dealer with personalized care since 1935. See Coolman Implement and Hardware for farm equipment, electrical and plumbing supplies, parts, sales, and service. Your Agco Alice, White, Hesting, Leaner, and Gel dealer is Coolman Implement and Hardware in Lynn, Kansas. Excitement is growing as starters are getting announced. A blue on blue cloud is what we have here today between the Rams and the Eagles. Thank you for tuning in. If you're just catching us, Hanover Girls were able to win this TVL Tournament Championship after a victory moments ago over Donovan West, 71 to 61, a game in which Tessa Losi erupted in that contest for 20 points. In this one, the Axel Eagles face off against the Blue Valley Rams, a meeting that has yet to happen here this year. A matchup that Axel was able to get two wins in last year, too, as well. But last year was last year. This is this year. Different teams for both sides. Expectations are still just as high. We're going to start with your starters first off. For the visiting Blue Valley Rams, even though they are the high seed, they will be in their road to blues with red numerals. They will go zero, Dakota Cross, a 6'3 junior. Number two, Jalen Pleasant, a 5'10 senior. Number five, Skyler Zoller, a 5'11 senior. Number 12, Brock Bergman, a 5'10 senior. And number 32, Ryan Stevens, a 6'1 senior. Rams are head coached by Blake Fonts and will go Cross, Pleasant, Zola, Bergman, and Stevens for their five. The Axel Eagles, they come in as the home seed, wearing their white home jerseys with the blue Axel across their chest and numerals. They will be led by number four, Grady Bussing, a 6'2 junior. Number 10, Eli Brocksterman, a 6 foot sophomore. Number 12, Isaac Detweiler, a 5'11 senior. Number 23, Colin Shaughnessy, a 5'10 freshman. And number 25, Brandon Schnellsley, a 6'2 sophomore. The Eagles are led by head coach Jason Tynan. And we'll go Bussing, Rocksterman, Dentweiler, Shaughnessy, and Schnellsley. Both of these teams looking for a TVL tournament championship. Axel coming into this comp- competition with a 9-2 and two record. Three wins here in the tournament over 13-seeded Frankfurt, 5-seeded Troy, and 1-seeded Clifton Clyde. Blue Valley comes in with two wins on the tournament over number 12-seeded Washington and the other night 4-seeded Hanover Wildcats. Going to be a very high-paced game. Both of these teams like to score. Axel scoring 57 points a game, while Blue Valley likes to get up and down 68 points a game for Blue Valley. In their last contest out, both teams were almost identical. Blue Valley scored 52. Axel had 51. Axel was led by Eli Brocksman with 17. Isaac Detweiler pitched in 12, while for Blue Valley it was balanced. Jalen Pleasant had 17, 13 in the first. Brock Bergman and Ryan Stevens had 10. It will be Stevens and Schmelzley to tip it off. The first tip is going to be a re-jump ball between Schmelzley and Stevens. It says that's cross. Can't see number 6-3 versus 60. Schmelzley and Cross go up for it. Schmelzley gets the first tip, and Axel will have the first possession of this 2023 TVL Tournament Championship. Blue Valley looking for their first one ever since joining the TVL. Hanno, or Axel, last time they won it way back when I was in high school, 2013. Maybe not quite as way back as we think. The time just keeps on marching. Straight man-to-man defense here for the Rams against Hint Axel. Axel will go your traditional three guards, two posts. There's the first steal of the game for Jalen Pleasant. Took it away from senior Isaac Detweiler, and Pleasant is going to run offense for Rams. Three ball in the corner is up and away from Bergman. He can't get his first shot to go. Inside is going to be Cross getting the offensive rebound, but we're going to have a foul down below. So this Blue Valley team comes in after a last year's record of 11 and 12. They start four seniors, will bring two off the bench. Their one senior is Cross, the lone junior here. That will get some playing time. So a well-seasoned veteran group, a group that has played together for a long time, and they've shown it in the few games that I've seen. Here's a first foul for Blue Valley. is down along the baseline. Ryan Stevens 
is going to pick that one up. Isaac Detweiler got the defensive rebound, one and done for the Rams. So one foul apiece now for both teams. Stevens has one for the Rams, and Grady Bussey also has one for the Eagles. Here's the pass top side that gets away, but finally lands in the hands of Eli Brockshaman. Detweiler is going to go baseline up and can't get the floater to fall as he goes 0 for here early on. The 1,000-point score in his career. Can't get the first one to fall, but couldn't the other night in his first contest either. Ended up, like we said, running 10 in that game. Two points up and down there for Zeller. And there's going to be a charge down low. So turn over Eagles as a charge down low, I believe, is going to go against Brandon Schmelsley. And it will be. So two team fouls now for Axel, one for Blue Valley as the Rams hold the early 2 nothing advantage. 6.20 left to play here. First quarter action. Looks like a construction zone theme for the Axel student section, and it's a luau on the Blue Valley side. Pleasant goes into the lane quickly the other way. Good passing up and down the court. Rocks from into Shaughnessy as Axel runs the court about as efficiently as anyone I've seen here at this tournament. They get their first two to go. A little floater in the lane is going to be up. No good. That's going to be off of Blue Valley. Lana went off the hands of Shaughnessy, but it's going to go over towards the Rams. Substitution now into the contest. 33, Brandon Brockman will check in. Checking out will be Skyler Zoller, who has the lone bucket here for either team as we play. Of course, both teams like to get it offensively, and it's been a defensive contest here early on. 2-2 is our score as we play. 5.50 left to play, first quarter action. There's going to be a play inside. Detweiler and Pleasant both went for it, and Pleasant took the brunt of that one. I think he got a shoulder of Isaac Detweiler right to the jawline, and Pleasant is still down on the ground. Getting to his feet, though, looking all right. I think he just took a real hard shot. I don't know if you were able to hear that one, but both him and Detweiler, and they're not skinny boys by any means. Both very muscly and a lot of determination in both of their playing. Pleasant will now go to the bench. Looks like he's grabbing that elbow, but that's going to be a problem for Blue Valley as Pleasant was the leading scorer the other night for the Rams. He had 17 in that contest, or 18, excuse me, in that contest. There's going to be a turnover. Axel is coming out of it with it is Stevens. He's going to run point now for the Rams. Top the key. Here he goes, trying to back down Brockman. Gets it off to the corner. That's Bergman trying to make his way in there. Stolen away by Detweiler. Good hands there from Brandon Schnells. As he forced it, and Isaac Detweiler is going to take it coast to coast as that gives Axel the two-point advantage here early on in this contest. Straight man-to-man again for Axel as we work it here. Top of the key. That's going to be Brockman trying to get into the lane. Finds it to cross. He's going to make the shot, but before it's going to be called on the ground. I believe that's going to be the right call foul. But a lot of fouls early on here in this contest. That's already going to be two now on Grady Bussing, the junior, as Coach Tynan's going to leave him in there. Underneath their own basket, Bergman gets it in there to Brockman. Now Brockman goes up top trying to run point. Here it goes down into the lane, gets to the left box. Oh, nice little up and under for Brockman. He's going to miss the easy bunny, though. Isaac Detweiler gets the board, gets that one knocked out of him. Bristin picks it back up and axles offensively. Three ball on the way. Eli Brockman going to be off the front of the rim. One and done. Full court pass now. Blue Valley up ahead. To Zoller. Zoller goes into the lane, gets it off. We're going to have a foul. It was going to be a block as Brock Bergman went into the line. Good defense there by Colin Shaughnessy. I think he's going to pick up that first personal foul. It will be Shaughnessy. So now that's already five team fouls for the Eagles early on. First free throw is going to hit the top of the building to go down for Brock Bergman. Substitution now for the Eagles, 45. Grant Bussing will come in, as well as Landon Schmitz, the 5'8 freshman who had an absolutely electric defensive game the other night against Clifton Clyde, was able to hold hot shooting Coy Steinbrock to only two points in that contest. Bergman goes two for two from the line. Pleasant is back in again for the for the Rams. Tied up here at four. 4.45 left to play here. First quarter action. Brockman stopped down low. Gets it off to Detweiler. About the free throw line now here near side. It goes to Bussing. 
Off the key, good swing around. Axel's going to go four out, actually go five out now here as they work this defense or their offensive set around Grant Bussing down low. Hands it off to Brandon Smelsing in the corner. Isaac Detweiler's left alone for three, and that one goes down. A big triple four senior Isaac Detweiler as that hit every part of the rim and finally found the bottom of the net. Into the lane, spinning shot goes to Excuse me, Brockman, but he's going to turn it over. So dead ball turnover for the Rams. It's going to go back towards Axel. Bergman now will check out as Cross is going to check back in. Mentioned the student sections a little bit before. Got them confused. Axel is, is a flat theme for the student sections here tonight. For Blue Valley, it is construction time. Here goes Detweiler along the baseline who just hit a three. That one's going to be a turnover, though. Good hands, Ryan Stevens, the 6'1 senior. Impressive on the wing, can also play down low. Gets the turnover, Blue Valley on offense. Up and down, there's the before-mentioned Ryan Stevens as he just kept prodding along the right side of that lane. That gives, matter that cuts Axel's lead now down to one. Seven to six is our score. Three minutes left to play, first quarter action. Axel still in there, five out, screen away. Once you pass, Detweiler has it right corner, smartly swings and now up top to Smelsley. Smelsley's going to run pick and roll here with Detweiler. They get it inside. Oh, short shot there as Landon Schmidt's going to get that one to fall from the bunny range. Blue Valley comes the other way after the miss. Thought about a three in the corner with Stevens. He's going to continue to try baseline. Got a hand in there to Detweiler, and he's going to force the turnover. Isaac Detweiler's been everywhere offensive, defensively. Here he goes offensively, one-on-one against Pleasant. Can't get that one to finish, and now here comes Pleasant offensively himself. Pulls it out here left side as fast pace action. We got playing on first quarter action. Boys CBL Tournament Championship. There's going to be a charge on Jalen Pleasant as he got a little bit deep into the lane. Good stop there by Landon Smith as he set those puppies and drew the charge. Cross is now going to take a seat into the game. Brock Bergman will come. Pleasant's also going to take a seat as that's already two for the senior from Blue Valley. So Jalen Pleasant, who like we said the other night, had a really good game against Hanover. Ended up with 17 in that contest. Had 13 and a half, including the first five. Will now have to set more than likely for some time here. Here's going to be Eli Broxman from the free throw line. Can't be- get that one to go. Offensive rebound. Grant Bussey and the big junior gets that one to fall down. As now Axel holds the three-point advantage. Quickly the other way. There's going to be a travel in the corner. As right in front of the Axel bench. Blue Valley got on a little bit happy feet, turned it over, and gave back the ball towards Axel. Of course, if you're looking for KU basketball, we will join that one in progress just as soon as that one ended. Dame tip set between Baylor and KU, set for 8 o'clock this evening. We'll come up just at the conclusion of this boys' game. Going to be a great Big 12 battle, just like the TVL here. 9-6 to six is our score, 155 left to play first quarter action. We're going to have a foul down low. That's going to go against Logan Shanks, who, or Shanks, who just stepped into the game. The 6-4 senior is going to pick up his first personal foul. And now another one for Blue Valley up top. Is that going to be on Shanks again? I thought I saw 22. We'll wait and see who they give it to. Detweiler top the key, Eli Broxman for three. That one's going to be an air ball, but on the boards, there's Grant Bussing, another big bucket. Two back-to-back offensive boards and putbacks for the junior off the bench. 11-6 to six is our score. In the lane goes Bergman, swings it back up top to Zoller. Zoller having trouble top the key. That's going to go off his foot. Turnover Rams back over towards Axel. Coach Fonts looking for any answer from his Blue Valley team. Out goes Shanks. Mack comes in cross. Detweiler's going to run point now here for the Eagles. Still straight man-to-man here for Blue Valley as Hanover, or excuse me, as Axel runs a little high-low action here between their two posts. Half screen away. Drochman gets it bounced out. Now here it comes near side for Smelsley. Smelsley trying to get into the lane, stop at the free throw line. Good defense by Blue Valley. Both of these teams play excellent defense and good team defense, too. Not just individual, as Axel's being held stymied here. Just rolled under a minute left to play here. First quarter action. Detweiler's directing traffic. Once a screen with Bussing. Detweiler's going to drive left baseline, go to the rim, and get stuck. 
but he's actually going to be fouled. I thought it was a good defensive possession there for Blue Valley, but the senior Isaac now will step to the line for two free throws. Foul's going to be on Dakota Clauses, and that's already 17 fouls here for Blue Valley in this first half of action. Detweiler calmly at the line gets the first one to go down. Axel the other night in their contest against Clifton Clyde shot 65% from the line, but when it matters, they made them count. In the fourth quarter, they shot 10 for 12, 83% as Detweiler gets the second to roll off the front of the rim with the nice little bounce. 13-6 13-6 is our score. 42 seconds left to play. First quarter action, 2023 TVL Tournament Championship between the Blue Valley Rams and the Axel Eagles. Hanover Girls already won the girls' one with Donovan West taking second. Into the lane goes Bergman, and he's going to get that one to fall. That ball hung up on the rim for about what seemed like six seconds. It's going to be an and one opportunity. Let's see who they give that foul to on Axel. They're going to give it to Landon Schmidt, so the freshman off the bench picks up his first. Free throw is going to be off the side iron. No good there for Bergman as he's two for three here in this first half. Three ball on the way from Broxerman as he nails it. Eli Broxerman with a big corner three with 20 seconds left to play here in this first quarter gives Axel the 16 to 8 advantage. Here comes Stevens the other way, kicks it out to Bergman. Bergman tries to cook, doesn't do it. Is going to have to kick it back out top to Stevens. Stevens hoists from about half court, no good. Pulled it down there, Lush Smellsley. Smellsley's going to push it, give it to Isaac for a three left side. No good, but Hannah Axel leading Blue Valley 16-8 to as we end the first quarter play here at the TBL Tournament Championship. Whether you're buying, building, remodeling, or refinancing, your home is a major investment in your life. At United Bank & Trust, we understand how important it is to work with someone who cares. Our loan officers have the experience it takes to make the process a smooth one. Come in for a visit or start online by filling out a loan application at ubankonline.com in as little as 20 minutes. Mortgage lending with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Ever feel like your insurance company doesn't know you? Insurance Corporation will issue generic plans where agricultural activities occur. Only a human can visit your farm or ranch to know what you need. Find out why Farm Bureau Financial Services is the number one ag insurer. It's your future. Let's protect it. Talk to an agent today or visit fbfs.com slash protect. Number one ag insurer across our eight state territory. 2019 SNL PNC Group Direct Written Premium. Call on Farm Mural Insurance Agent Bryce Leonard in Washington today. Three, two, one. Did the new year bring new devices in your home? You might want to increase your internet speed. If you up your speed this month, you get a $20.23 bill credit for three months to kick off 2023. New Blue Valley Internet customers also get a $20.23 bill credit for three months. Visit bluevalley.net slash 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Sap Brothers Petroleum works hard all year round to be there for you when it matters most. Their goal is simple, to be your number one source for propane, lubricants, and extreme diesel fuel. And they'll reach that goal by treating you like family. Don't wait for winter to set in. Get that propane tank filled today by calling the winning team at Sap Brothers Petroleum. Still proudly serving all of Nebraska and the Hanover community, Sap Brothers is proud to announce their newest location in Blue Rapids. That's Sap Brothers Petroleum, servicing your residential and farming to commercial and industrial needs. So before we could even get back from quarter break, three ball on the way was made by Ryan Stevens for Blue Valley, but then a technical foul for Tawny was called. Isaac Detweiler goes one for two from the line. That technical foul, of course, will be on Stevens. It should be, it will be his first personal foul, but Axel still leading 17 to 11 here, though, as there's a turnover by Detweiler. That's going to be Stevens getting it out of there. He's going to take it along the left baseline. Going to lose it out of his hands, but it's going to go off of Blue Valley or hand of Axel player. We'll get the schools right and stay with Blue Valley. Jalen Pleasant will now check back in. Brandon Brockman will take a seat. Blue Valley underneath their own basket. Bergman will be the trigger man. Gives it to Stevens in the corner, guarded tightly by Isaac Detweiler. That's going to be a double dribble foul. 
as Stevens had it knocked away from him, but then gathered it again. So now back to back to back turnovers for Blue Valley has really disrupted their flow here in this first second quarter of play. Axel looking to take advantage, leading 17 to 11. Of course, winner will be your 2023 TBL tournament champions. Blue Valley looking for their first championship ever. Axel looking for their first one since 2013. Isaac Detweiler gets that one, but then goes down really in pain. That's not a good sign if you're an Axel fan. Detweiler got the deuce, but is now down on his hands and knees. We're going to take a timeout, bring it right back here. Actually, we'll keep it here. Looks like he's up. Looks like he probably just rolled his ankle, I would assume, the way he's kind of holding his face the way it is. He's having a good game, too, so far here in this contest. Has 10 points already to his name as a senior with a few. That's a tough look, and that's a tough look on his face, but if you've ever rolled your ankle and it looks pretty serious, he's going to take a seat on the bench, try and get that puppy taped up and get him back in before it swells up too terribly bad. So Detweiler will go towards the bench. Looking out there now, it will be Schmitz, Brandon Schmelsley, Eli Broxterman, Colin Shaughnessy, and Grant Bussing. Into the lane, it goes Pleasant. He can't get that one to fall down. Cross is going to get the offensive board. He's going to be fouled and now step to the line with an opportunity to cut this eight-point deficit down for Blue Valley. Foul looks like it's going to be called there on Grant Bussing. The junior off the bench has had two big put-back opportunities on the offensive end. Four points to that foul there since Cross to the line. Dakota Cross goes over from the line if he can't make Blue Valley count. That's now 16 fouls for Axel. The next one will send the Rams to the line the rest of the way. Shot's going to be up and no good as he crossed the line. So a free throw made, but no opportunity. And so after that free throw, that's a mental mistake. That technical foul cost Blue Valley to point. Just not quite as in their head as I thought they would be coming out here for this championship game. Axel easily breaks the pressure. There's Grant Bussing all alone by his lonesome underneath the basket. An easy deuce for the 6'1 junior as now Axel has opened this one up to 10 points. Of course, everyone watching, Isaac Detweiler getting worked on by his dad, left side into the lane. There goes Skyler Zoller, his second bucket here of the afternoon as a senior with a shifty little move. Full court pressure again by Blue Valley. Good little pass there from Grant Bussing, but he's going to be called. Actually, that's Brandon Smelsley, top of the key, is going to be called for the personal foul after he threw that ball, pushed down. Skyler Zoller, so second personal now for Schmelzley. Got to be careful with 6.42 left to play. KU basketball action will tip off at 8. We will join that one live and in progress as soon as this ball game is done. You can catch all of that right here. KNDY 95.5 online at sunflowerstateradio.com and, of course, in the KNDY mobile app. Here's Jalen Pleasant, two-foot bunny, can't get that one to fall. Gets the offensive rebound, Bobby go flying, finishes over three Axel Eagles defenders. Bussing, Grant Bussing, and Landon Schnellsley were all there. Pleasant's going to get the and-one opportunity now. That foul is going to be called on Landon Schmidt, so the freshman has two personals. We're going to have to watch, keep an eye on Axel's foul trouble as this game continues to progress. One dribble free throw is going to be up no good there for Pleasant, yet still to find the scoring column after he had 17 the other night versus Hanover. Bussing's trapped in the corner, gets it off to Shaughnessy. Now it's going to be Smith's left side. Smartly thought about a three, but intelligently decides to pull it back out. In the corner, Eli Brockman runs the screen and roll. Now gets it off to Schmidt's top of the key here. Five out is Axel. Blue Valley still in there straight man-to-man defense. Bussing top of the key, that's Grant. Now gives it off here, Schmelzley about the short corner. Schmelzley can't do anything with it. Gives it off to Landon, Schmel- Landon Smith. Calling for it down below, and Jalen Pleasant's going to pick up another personal foul. So Blake Pons ran the dice with putting Pleasant out there, but the senior's going to pick up three personals now as he has yet to find the scoring column in this contest. A good job by the Axel defense. On the sideline, Isaac Detweiler is 
taped up, but I don't know how that's going to go. We're going to have to see if he can loosen up and go here in the second half. Free throw is up and down for Brandon Schmelsley as he is pure money on that first free throw. 22 to 15 now is our score as we set. Three free throws in their right hand. Second free throw is going to be up and ring off the front of the rim. Good to go. Hanover or Axel here in this contest is five for six from the free throw line. After the other night, they only shot at 65%, so good shooting here early on. Here's a nice little take down the baseline by Bergman. He's going to be blocked, though. Grant Bushing, the big man, coming up big on the defensive end in this contest, also on the offensive end with six points off the bench already. They go into Schmelzley down low. Three ball on the way from Eli Rochterman. Cans that one, and that's going to force Blue Valley to take a timeout. We'll take it with them. Axel leading 26 to 15. State Auto. Do you know the total value of your personal possessions? On a quick guess, you probably would underestimate considerably. Your independent state auto insurance agent can help you estimate the value of the items you own so you can maintain coverage in case they're lost, stolen, or destroyed. Making sure you're adequately covered is one of his biggest responsibilities. Talk to your independent state auto agent, Justin Dragaston, in Washington at 325-2263 or in Concordia at 243-3436. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring Concern in your family's time of need. Max Blasky with you here. 26 to 15 is our score. Isaac Detweiler is back onto the court. Got that left ankle taped up pretty good. You can see he's hobbling it a little bit, but the senior's going to give it a try. If you're Coach Jason Tynan, that's all you ask for. Here he goes down along the baseline, and he gets the block. Isaac Detweiler, who just got blown by, comes up with a big block against Skylar Zoller. No dice for Blue Valley as they'll be inbounding it underneath their own basket. Bergman will be your trigger man, gets it to cross at the free throw line. They'll try their little baseline cutter. Bergman gets it out. Pop has some trouble with it, guarded tightly by Schmidt. Doing a good job, freshman defense there. Oh, here's the baseline cutter into the lane. Flip over to Cross. Cross goes up with it and stolen. That play was made by Brandon Smelsley, who came from behind and forced the turnover on that side, saving it on the near side. Brock Bergman's going to force the turnover. Will cost Blue Valley a timeout, but it will save their possession. We'll take it with them. 26-15 is your score. You don't ask that much from your propane provider. Just the basics. Competitive pricing, quick delivery, reliable service. And if there's an emergency, the assurance that you won't be left out in the cold. You get all of that from Wanklin Oil. If you're not getting what you want from your current propane dealer, call Wanklin Oil at 1-800-794-2019. Jared, Dennis, or Zach will make the transition easy. It's not a hassle. Wanklin Oil is covering more of Northeast Kansas and can get to you right away. Wanklin Oil, 1-800-794-2019. We've had the energy since 1926. 26-15 26-15 here is our score. TVL tournament basketball action going on in Washington tonight. Boys championship being played as we see. Hanover girls already defeated. Well, who did we play by golly in the girls game? Donovan West for their tournament championship. Shot on the way from cross is going to be no good. Ball is going to be bounced around. It's going to go off of Axel. Stay Blue Valley's ball underneath their own basement. Same inbounds play. Free throw line. It goes to Bergman. Bergman has trouble with it, though. And Bussing's going to get the steal. Bussing all the way down the court. Up and good. Brandon Schmelsley actually, excuse me, reading numbers, gets the steal and the easy two. That pushes Axel's lead now up to 13 points. Into the lane goes Steven spinning around. Three ball straight away is going to be down and good from Skyler Zoller, who has seven points in this contest to lead the way for the Rams. 3.42 left to play here. Axel running offense. Inside it goes Bussy. Now up top, Broxerman. 
thought about a three, but we'll get it over to Detweiler. Detweiler's on a drive left, a little floater off the lane. It's going to be no good as he's testing out that ankle. Rolling on a left sprained ankle here is Isaac Detweiler. A little floater in the lane. Skyler Zoller takes the bump, gets the deuce to go. Now that's five straight points for Blue Valley and Zoller as they have cut this one down to eight. Top of the key, that's going to be Smelsley running point. Gets it off to Grant Bussing down the side. Reserve Junior has had a good day so far here today. Six points, about five defensive boards so far. Broxman's cut off about the left side post. Decides to kick it out. Now he's going to try a three ball on the way. That's going to be short off the front of the rim. No dice. Brian Stevens comes out of there for Blue Valley with it. He's going to fire up a three. That's going to be long off the rim. No good. Finding for it is Cross and Blissing. A little scrum for it down low and a jump ball is going to be the possession. Didn't see who exactly had possession on there, but nonetheless, it will go over towards Axtell. Substitution now. Landon Schmidt's going to come in. Isaac Detweiler is going to take a seat. The senior dealing with a sprained left ankle, limping noticeably, grimacing in pain too, but the senior toughed it out there, gave it a go for a couple minutes. We'll see if he comes back after half. That would be a big loss for the Eagles. If he's not able to go after half, of course, you don't want those sprained ankles to start to stiffen up. We'll see what they do in the locker room. Bussing goes baseline. He's going to take a lot of contact, but not be fouled all over his back with Brock Birdman. Blue Valley gets the stop and now is looking to cut into this eight-point deficit. On a 4 run, 4-0 run their own, here's a three in the corner from Blue Valley. That's going to be an air ball. Ball's going to be fought for, taken away by Brockstrom. Axel comes out of there with it. Brockstrom going right down Main Street into the lane. That time he's going to draw a foul and go to the line. A very physical game here between Blue Valley and Axel. School separated by a lot of distance, but familiar with themselves. Played last year. Axel won this matchup in a consolation game last year, 60-31, to and then took game number two later on in the season, 53-43 to at Blue Valley. So teams that are sort of familiar with each other, but not yet in this sense. Boxman gets his first free throw to go. Second one's going to go down and good as well. Dakota Cross picks up his second personal now for the Rams. So the big man for Blue Valley with two and still out there. They find him along the right baseline up and good. Is that his first score here in this ball game? Dakota Cross finally getting in the scoring column. Blue Valley is going to keep it here, setting at 8. 30-22 is our score, 145 left to play. Smellsley has it with the ball out top, now hands it off to Shaughnessy. Here near side, it comes to Eli Brosterman. Now swinging it around, Grant Dessing out there. Reserved, who has played a lot of minutes in this contest here this afternoon. This thing's going to keep trying to go towards the rim. Up, offensive rebound, got it there was Eli Brosterman. Still fighting for it down below. No foul's going to be called. Blue Valley's going to come out of it here with numbers. Now Brosterman gets back into the lane, goes Bergman. Bergman's going to kick it back out. Ryan Streets for three. He got that one. Ryan Stevens, his second triple here of the evening, as now Blue Valley has cut it down to within five. Five-point contest, one minute to go here in halftime. In the first half, Smellsley up top with it, still running this five out. Eli Brockstrom in the three. He answers! Eli Brockstrom in the sophomore with three, two big triples here in this second quarter. Pushes this lead right back up to eight points for Axel. Stevens top of the key with the hot hand, looking to go one-on-one. Now we're going to try another three left side. It's going to be no good. Air ball, rebound's going to be taken, though, and a travel out front by Lucas Talbot, who just got into the game, had a three out top. And Coach Fonts telling his boys, put it up when you're two feet away. Turnover, Blue Valley, trailing here by eight. Top the key, that smells the running point, gives it off to Smith's right side. The freshman being strong with the ball here, guided tar- tightly, man-to-man defense. 20 seconds left here, first half action as Axel is leading Blue Valley 33-25 and half from the tip. Shaughnessy top of the key, and Coach Tynan wants to take a timeout. We'll take it with them. 14 seconds left, 33-25 is our score. 
71 degrees all the way. 73 degrees, please. So what's your perfect degree of comfort? We'll help you find it with professional Rheem HVAC service that'll keep your home comfy year-round, save on energy costs, and may qualify for utility rebates and tax credits. So enjoy a new degree of comfort. 72 degrees, and I'm good to go. Get professional service and all brands of equipment. Call B&W Electric in Hanover, your local Rheem contractor, at 785-337-2598 today. Max Blasky with you here in Washington, actually leading 33-25. If you're looking for the KU Jayhawks versus the Baylor Bears, we will join that one in progress just as soon as this contest is over. 12 seconds left to go until half. Isaac Denweiler top of the key on that rolled ankle looking to help his team out. Trapp has to get it off towards Smelsley. Smelsley gets it lost to. Axel almost loses it in the corner. Denweiler's going to have to force it. That one hit the front of the rim and almost dropped down. No dice there for the senior, but Axel still leads 33-25 as we go into halftime action. We're going to take a timeout, keep it right here. We'll come back with first half stat scores and analysis. From the TVL Tournament 2023 Boys Championship Game. This is Thad Argenbride with Performance Ag in Waterville, your pioneer dealer. Our vision at Performance Ag is to deliver to you the very best in seed genetics from Pioneer, along with the best in service, which includes on site seed treatment, direct delivery, and tender use. Call me, Thad Argenbright, at 785 313 3064 and find out why with pioneer from performance ag you get more than a bag of seed friendly personalized service to meet your banking needs that's the standard at first national bank frankfurt my community bank has responded to the changes needed to keep my money safe and secure they've switched to cards with the latest technology which is safer and more secure than before my community bank provides safety and security while staying on top of the latest banking trends let first national bank's brand of banking be responsive to your needs first national bank frankfurt proud to be your community bank Member FDIC. For the best in farming equipment with the service to back it, there is only one Bruna Implement Company, your local Case IH dealer. Since 1947, the staff of Bruna Implement Company works daily to provide the best parts and service when you need it the most. Bruna Implement Company has been family owned for three generations. They know what it takes to be successful as your area Case IH dealer in Marysville, Washington, Play Center, Seneca, Hiawatha, and now Humboldt, Nebraska. Give your child a foundation in cheer, dance, or tumbling with Little Steps Dance and Gymnastics Studio in Seneca. From ages 18 months to 18 years, kids can participate in recreational dance, cheer, and tumbling. Little Steps also offers a national title holding competition dance and cheer program. Little Steps is a proud supporter of all area student athletes. To be a part of the Little Steps fun, visit littlestepsdance.com or visit their Facebook page anytime. 33-25 33-25 is our halftime score here in Washington. Axel Eagles leading the Blue Valley Rams in this 2023 TBL Tournament Championship. For the boys, if you missed it, Hanover Lady Wildcats are your 2023 Girls Tournament Champions with a 71-61 to victory over three-seeded Donovan West Mustangs. The Lady Wildcats stay perfect on the season while Donovan West will now drop to nine or eight or excuse me seven and three. Looking at scores from that first half of the Axel game, the Eagles were led by Eli Broxman who had three threes in that quarter or half, two big ones in the second, eleven points for him. Isaac Detweiler muscled through a sprained ankle midway through there in that second quarter. He ended up with 10 points, though. Four points for Brandon Schmelzley, two for Colin Chaunessy, and six big ones for Grant Bussing off the bench, who has also pulled down at least five or six defensive rebounds in this contest. For the Rams, it was all starters. All starters scored no bench points. For them yet in this one, they were led by Skylar Zoller, who had nine. Ryan Stevens had eight. 
Brock Bergman had two. Dakota Cross and Jalen Pleasant only had two apiece in the Rams win the other night against the Wildcats. Pleasant had 17, including 13 in that first half, while Cross pitched in nine, along with probably 10 boards in that one. So Axel, a undersized team here compared to Blue Valley in this one, is doing a good job with their preset defense and stance to send Blue Valley exactly where Axel wants to send them. Of course, if you are checking in for KU basketball, we will join this staff at the end of this contest about 8.30. Join it live with action just as soon as we get done here from Washington. 33-25 is our halftime score. 16 more minutes to see who's going to take home the boys' 2023 TVL Tournament Championship. We're going to take one more timeout, bring it right back here as Axel's leading 33-25. to See Andy Bruna at Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover for a full line of your everyday hardware needs and all the building supplies you'll need to get the job done right. Just about anything you might need around the farmer home is found at Andy's. And always fast, friendly service when you need it. It just makes good sense to shop at Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover, Kansas. A out Wildcat Booster. That's Andy's Hardware and Lumber in Hanover. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axtel Truss. 12 to 80 foot span. Complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Delivered to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtel Truss on US Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. Titan Trailer Manufacturing of Waterville offers a full line of horse and livestock trailers, flatbed trailers, utility trailers, dump trailers, stock trailers, cargo trailers, and custom trailers. Are you sensing a theme here? Trailers. If you need it, they have it. Not only do they have it, Titan Trailers are a higher standard of quality manufactured in Waterville. You're pulling the best with a Titan Trailer. Log on to TitanTrailer.com and find a dealer near you and see for yourself. Twin Valley Thrift Shops are always updating with new arrivals. Check out the warehouse in Waterville and Twice But Nice in Beatty for a great selection of clothes, toys, games, home decor, everyday pieces, and at the warehouse they stock furniture and more as well. Your purchase and, of course, your contributions benefit local residents served by Twin Valley Developmental Services. Both locations always accept donations of good, clean, quality used items you're no longer using. Visit the Twin Valley Thrift Shops in Waterville and Beatty. Max Blasky here with you. One more halftime break before we get second half action between the Eagles of Axel and the Rams of Blue Valley. 33 to 25, of course, is our score. Kind of historic chance for Blue Valley. They have never won a TVL tournament championship, let alone been in this champ or a few second place finishes back in the day but could be a first one here for blue valley if they were able to mount the comeback on this one axel it would be their first one since 2013 was the last time that the boys won their contest axel was bevied by a big first quarter 16 to 8 was the end of the first quarter score before here we set at halftime 33 25 blue valley opened it up for 17 points there in the second but axel matched them 17 to as well so we set still set here 33 to 25 is our score we're going to take one more time out here at half come back seven half action eight 16 more minutes to crown a tvl tournament champion at the beginning of every crop year, you get only one chance to get it right. Start your season off with a seed you can trust. Plant DeKalb Ascro. They have a full range of products that have proven themselves year after year. Parker Seed can provide the right seed for your environmental conditions. There's no room for error. Call Parker Seed to start your season off right. When you call Todd Parker, he'll put his knowledge and experience to work to help you make the right choices. Call today, 562-6687. That's 562-6687. 
If you're worried about the shape your smile is in or suffer with tooth pain, you need to visit Gray Family Dental in Marysville. The staff at Gray Family Dental will stop the pain and make your smile look like new again. Dr. Gray offers a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, and cosmetic procedures, and regular hygiene services to keep your teeth and gums in great shape. Call 562-5323 for your appointment today. Gray Family Dental, just a south block of Broadway on 8th Street. Your smile is their priority. Earning and keeping your business is the top priority at Old Day Tractor Repair and Lend. Their professionally trained technicians have a tremendous amount of experience with all types of farm equipment. They service all brands of tractors, combines, and forage equipment, especially John Deere. They work on diesel truck engines, clutches, transmissions, differentials, and brakes. Call Old Day Tractor Repair of Lynn, Kansas. Serving area farmers for over 26 years. Second half action underway. Blue Valley's going to be the first on the offensive. Smart shot first up for Skyler Zoller is going to be no good. The senior started the game off with the first two points, but can't start the second half the same way he did the first. It's going to be one and done now for Blue Valley as back offensively come the Eagles. Isaac Detweiler out there after spraining that ankle in the first half. Got a nice tape drop from his dad back out there. Hopefully that swelling stays down. Here's a floater from Brandon Schmelzley, but Jalen Pleasant, athletic jump there to send that one back. One and done for Axel as Blue Valley gets the turnover. Here come the, here come the Rams. Zeller into the line again, decides to kick it back out. He's going to try a three after a living give, little give and go. No dice there. Detweiler pulls down the board. Nice little pass. Rocket pass all the way from half court. Eli Rossman into Brandon Schmelzley. That's only Schmelzley's sixth point, but I think that is his second bucket where all he has done is just straight rim run and his guards have found him. Jay, when Pleasant can't find the mark from three, pulling the board down will be Grady Bessing, who had two fouls there in that first half, had to set on the bench most of the second quarter. Right into the game, first shot for him is going to be up no good as he got about as deep as position as you can hope for from a postman. Pleasant goes the other way. Little shot's going to be air ball from four feet away from Ryan Stevens as both teams have come out cold here. Quickly up now, it's going to be Detweiler top of the key. Thought about a three in front of Pleasant, but no dice. Smartly gives it off. George Smelsley down on the right side. Brandon's going to drive baseline up and one. Brandon Smelsley, have yourself a second half to start off with. Back-to-back buckets now for the sophomore as a strong right-handed move down the baseline results in an and one opportunity. So another foul for Blue Valley, who had quite a few there in the first half. Jalen Pleasant ended up with three personal fouls, and so did Ryan Stevens ended up. That was his third. So three now for Stevens, three for Pleasant, and two for Cross as a Bronxerman nails the old-fashioned three-point play. Into the lane, there goes Zoller. He can't get that one to roll off the left side of the rim. We're going to get a foul called, and it's going to be against Axel. That's going to be on Detweiler. That's going to be the first for the senior here. First team foul for Axel coming out of half. Zoller stepping to the free throw line. The 5'11 senior already with nine points in this contest. Can't make it 10 as he goes 0 for 1 there on his first try from the line. One more. Three dribbles left hand. A long extension. A little flick of the wrist. Gets that one to go down Double digits now for the senior. Axel leading 38 to 26 here. 6.05 left to play. Third quarter action. Winner will be your 2022-23, excuse me, TVL tournament champion. champion. Into the line goes Smellsley. Good passing in between Axel. It hits Smellsley, Smith, and Detweiler's hand all within three seconds. Isaac Detweiler, three off the offensive rebound. No dice. Smellsley's going to keep fighting for it off the board of a off cross. Cross finally comes up with it, and Stevens at the other end. We're not going to call it cherry picking, but he was leaking out on that one after about Blue Valley had three chances to grab that one. They finally do. But Axel has been crashing the offensive board all day, and they enjoy doing it, too. Their guards really like to get physical. Here goes Snellsley into the lane. Nice little spinning move. Isaac Detweiler gets the steal, though. Pass up to Snellsley. Nice and one opportunity. Brandon Snellsley 
play made by Isaac Detweiler was watching him though that entire time. He never left right in front of the booth, just waited until Blue Valley outlitted it and took that one off. Jalen Pleasant can't get that one to go. He's going to foul on the offensive board, and there is some frustration for the senior. That's going to be four personal fouls now as Brandon Brockman is going to have to come in for him. So that is a lot of offensive firepower leaving the court now for Blue Valley. 40 to 28 is our score. Axel leading against here Blue Valley. Rams in their straight man to man defense. Axel working their three guard, two post set as they screen pass, then screen away. Top the key, it's going to be the hot hand of Brandon Schmelsley that has it here in the second half. He's going to try a three from the right corner. He's going to hit it. Brandon Schmelsley coming out here the second half on fire already with. 10 points here in this quarter as he has all 10 of Axel. Schmelzley gets a steal there, throws it to the back of Shaughnessy. He doesn't see that one. Turnover Axel quickly the other way goes Brock Bergman, and that's going to force Blue Valley to take a timeout. We'll take it with them. Axel leading here by 13. Call Parthamer Electric at 268-0553. At Parthamer Electric, we specialize in residential and commercial electrical services and are dedicated to providing customer service that is second to none. Parthamer Electric won't leave the job until you're satisfied. Parthamer Electric is available at all hours and offers flexible services for indoor or outdoor jobs. You can visit us on the web at the Parthamer Electric Facebook site or give us a call at 268-0553. Parthamer Electric in Frankfurt. 43-30 43-30 here is our score as Axel's leading Blue Valley. Brandon Schmelsley having himself a monster of a third quarter. We're only four minutes in. He already has ten points on four for four from the line, including an and one opportunity. A little confusion here. They about gave the ball to Blue Valley. It's going to be Axel's ball coming out underneath the opposite basket. The Brandon Schmelsley, 10 points here in this third quarter, had four there at half, has been the answer and has been aggressive too, looking to score, as that's going to force Blue Valley to now move into a 2-3 zone. So you're going to take a team that's not used to playing zone and make them play zone here with four minutes left to play in this championship game. Eli Broxman for three from the left wing. Can't get that one to fall down. Pulls down his own offensive rebound, though. Gives an out top now to Detweiler. As he, the scene will reset it now for the Eagles. Running some clock here, 43-30 is our score. Three minutes left to play here as Blue Valley's looking to extend. There Schmelzley gets the friendly roll. Brandon Schmelzley, continue to have yourself a half. 12 straight, all 12 of Axel's Eagles points here in the second half. Does Blue Valley have an answer? So far, it's been Brock Bergman. He gets into the line, but stopped tightly by Landon Smith. Down into the baseline it goes. That's going to be Zollard, almost losing it. Ends up into the hands of Brockman. He's going to fire up the three. That's going to be no dice. Detweiler comes out of there with it. Of course, Detweiler hobbling on one leg. Got that left rolled ankle taped up nice there at half. Landon Smith's left side three. That's going to be long, no good. But offensive rebound up and down. That's going to be... Eli Broshman getting in there. No, excuse me, that's Grady Bussey getting in there. We're going to have a foul down low as Axel continues to pound the offensive glass here in this contest. Detweiler is going to take a seat as Shaughnessy comes back in. Also into the ballgame, Grant Bussey. As Grady Bussey will check out. Grant had himself a decent first half there. Six points, three for three from the floor, and probably seven or eight rebounds, too. Two of those being offensive on those two buckets. There is Brandon Smelsley, first miss of the first half on a little turnaround shot, and a pass to the back of the back from Blue Valley. A little floater in the lane for Axel is going to be no good. Finally, Bergman pulls it down there for Blue Valley. Full court pass is somehow coming up with this was Zoller. It's going to end up going off of Axel as there's been some sloppy passing the last 20 seconds here. The Valley tried to outwit that one and to hit the back of Eli Broxton, and thankfully it wasn't a turnover. Here's about a near one, too, as that pass goes into no man's land, but Bergman chases it down. So Tron's telling his team to simmer it down a little bit into the lane goes Bergman. He's going to go to the line now for two free throws and a chance to cut into this 15-point axe to lead. That foul 
is going to go against Landon Schmitz. The freshman is going to pick up number three now. Free throw is going to be short off the mark for Bergman as he is now two for four here from this contest from the line. Second free throw up and just as short as well. Offensive rear, defensive rebound taken down by Schmelzley and then over the back is going to be called on Logan Shanks. That's going to be the senior's second personal foul. So Bergman goes empty from the line and Blue Valley picks up a foul. Not what coach was wanting to cut into this 15-point Axel lead. Eagles have led from the start, looking to close this one out for their first TVL tournament championship since 2013. Into the lane, there's going to be Broxman throwing that one up. He's going to be fouled nonetheless, go to the line, and opportunity for two more free throws. Of course, as this game inches closer and closer to the end, this Axel team that was back-to-back eight-man state champions, they know how to finish contests off, whether it be basketball or football. So the experience for Axel might start to play a factor as we play deeper into this second half. First free throw with Roxanne was good. Second one is just the same. He's four for four here from the line. Axel as a team has only missed one free throw so far this evening. They shot nine, eight of nine from the line. That's how you do it in a championship game. Blue Valley finally getting the bucket there. There's Tyler Zoller. That's going to be 12 points now for the senior as he cuts this one back down 47 to 32. Right side, that's going to be Schmelzley working with it against man-to-man as Blue Valley has gone out of that 2-3 zone. Smith's about lost the top side, gets it off to Shaughnessy now, top of the key. Here's the hot-handed Brandon, Brandon Smith, who has 12 points in this third quarter alone. 16 for the ball game now. 137 left to play. Axel working it around. Smart moves here. Just what I was talking about. A team that's not going to take unnecessary risks. Shaughnessy for three, no good. Smith's about got that offensive rebound, but pulling it out of there will be Sump. And an inadvertent whistle we have in front of the Blue Valley bench. Coach wanted to take a timeout, but decided against it. Shaughnessy's going to take a break now on the bench as into the ball game. Evan Bussing will come, the 5'9 senior first action here this afternoon. Top of the key three is going to be no good, but offensive rebound is going to be up and put down. Brandon Brockman is going to get his first two points here of the contest off the offensive board. That was almost a carry top of the key. We're not going to call it. Axel's going to keep possession. Here's Smith swinging it around. They've got five guards out there wrapped around. Grant Bussing in the post. Strong move, Brandon Schmelzley. Running out of room on my score sheet as he adds another deuce to his scoring total. Right side, that's going to be Bergman trying to work against Smith. Good defense there from the freshman. Three ball on the way from the pull-up is good. Brandon Brockman, the five straight now for Blue Valley as a little life has been put into this Rams team. Top the key, Evan Bussing has trouble with it. Now gets it across the court to Smellsley. Smellsley gets his picket park, picket park though by Brandon Brockman. Up the lane, it's going to be short, no good. That's actually Ryan Stevens, not 33. That was 32, getting the steal and the easy deuce. 49-39. Blue Valley's cut this to within 10. 14 seconds now before fourth quarter action. It's going to be Smith's top the key right side. Gets it off to Smellsley, who's had the hot hand. Now inside the bushing. Now Smith's going to fire up a three. That one's going to go three-quarters of the way down and out. No good, though. Trying to force up the shot. It's going to be no dice. And Axel's going to take a 49-39 to lead in the fourth quarter play. Eight minutes left to crown you a 2023 TVL Tournament Champion. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high-quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at bfmic.com. For the best of 
care close to home, visit the Washington County Hospital and Family Medicine of Washington County. Their team of professionals work together to provide every member of your family in every stage of life with medical care. From routine checkups to diagnostic services, visiting outpatient specialists, obstetrics, major and minor surgical procedures, and an emergency room that is always staffed by physicians, you'll find the best of care right here in Washington County. Call 785-325-2211 for your appointment today. Stocked with the freshest produce and always fresh meat counter, JNR Market in Frankfurt is your full-service grocery. Start saving today with weekly specials. The JNR Market app makes shopping a breeze, so you're in and out and on your way. Open seven days a week for your convenience, Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. until 7 p.m., Saturday, 96, Sunday, 95. Freshest produce, best selection, greatest value, JNR Market in Frankfurt. Max Blasky with you here in Washington. Fourth quarter action, boys TVL tournament championship underway. Axel leading 49 to 39. They were leading 20, or 33 to 25 at the end of halftime. That third quarter, if you're just tuning in, was the Brandon Schmelzley show. Axel scored 18 in that quarter. Brandon had 14. Now has 18 on the night for high score for both teams. They're going to go to him top of the key now as Detweiler is back out there. Of course, senior Isaac Detweiler rolled his ankle early on. There's a three from Eli Brocksterman. Hit every part of the rim. And guess who pulled that one down? Brandon Schmelzley continues his hot second half. In the lane, it goes Stevens on the Axel turnover. And no, Blue Valley's going to keep it. Good defense there to get back by Evan Blissing and Eli Brocksman to stop the fast break opportunity there for Blue Valley. Ten point lead. Axel has the advantage. Eight minutes left to go here. Three pointer on the way from Blue Valley. Right side is going to go off the top of the key. No good. Ryan Stevens can't find the mark. Blue Valley's one and done. Blue Valley heated up there in that third quarter. Their first quarter has really been the score story. They only scored eight points in that quarter as Axel jumped out to the early 16-8 to lead, but Blue Valley has made it a game since then. Inside is going to go Grady Bussing. He's going to be fouled as he easily pinned the shorter Brock Bergman. So now Bussing will go to the line where he has a chance to get into the scoring column for the first time tonight. Was hampered by free right fouls there early on in the first half. Hasn't really got him going, but now here's a chance. Evan Bissing's going to step out now. Colin Shaughnessy will check back in for him. Free throw is going to be up and good for Grady Bissing. So now all starters for Axel have scored in this contest. A very balanced offensive attack for a team that averages 57 points per game. We're setting at 50 right now after that miss. Offensive rebound, though, pulled down. Brandon Smelsley, have yourself a second half, young man. Top of the key, here's Brockson, now Smelsley. Smelsley trying to work one-on-one, goes gets into the lane, finds a spot, a tough little runner is going to be no good, wanting the foul call. Coach Tynan tells him to get back, get a defensive stop. Here goes Stevens all the way into the lane. A nice little floater is up and good. Actually, that's Brandon Brockman. That 20, that 33 and that 32 are real hard to see the difference between on these Blue Valley Rams jerseys. But Brandon Brockman come out here in the second half with seven points has really been a spark, especially those five in the third for the Rams. Top the key here. It is Blissing. Blissing having problems with it. Finally gets it off the Brocksterman as the intensity has ratcheted up. Six minutes left to play here. Axel looking to close out Blue Valley. That's going to be a charge offensively on the Grady Blissing. Coach Tynan can't believe that one. Not 100% sure either on that, but I don't get called to make the calls. So get paid to make the calls. So that's going to be a third personal now on Grady. Isaac Detweiler is going to come out. Landon Schmitz will check back in. Of course, Isaac on that bad left ankle rolling it is tough and it out. You can see the pain on his face. Anything for his team here to get a win. His team needs a stop. Three ball on the way from Stevens is going to be no good. That one was about half an inch from going down. Axel avoids a shot in the arm there. Here it is. Snellsley trapped along the corner. Gets it off to Colin Shaughnessy in this left corner as well. 
Now back up, Schnellsley guarded tightly, actually doing a good job whipping it around the horn. A little floater from about seven feet is no good by Eli Brockman. One and done as here comes Brockman. Brockman has been a revelation for the Rams here this second half. A floater into the lane is going to be no good. And we're going to have a pushing foul down low. That's going to be Landon Smith, I think, going to pick up his fourth personal foul. Smith's only 5'8", going against the 6'1". Brockman, a little mismatch there. No choice but to foul. Won't allow the easy two, and Axel will, or Lee Valley will inbound it underneath their own basket. Floater into the lane. There goes Stevens. That one's, I think, partially blocked by Eli Brosh, and in good disciplined man-to-man defense by Axel here the last couple trips as that's going to be what gets them this victory. 50-41, to 41, Blue Valley's cut it now to within nine. 5-12 left to play here, fourth quarter action. Axel has led from the beginning. Bevied in part by a big third quarter by Brandon Schmelzley, who had 14 in that one. Top of the key, here's Grady Bussing, who's looking to get into the action. Had a slow first half due to fouls. Axel doing a good job swinging it around the top of the key, using time but being smart with it. Here goes Grady into the lane. A floater from about three foot is up and good as the Red Seas just parted their fourth junior, Grady Bussing, as he gets his first deuce of the evening to go. Three ball on the way from Stevens. That one's going to count down and good. Ryan Stevens, third triple here of the evening. Didn't get a technical on that one. Earlier got one for taunting after hitting a three, but smartly pulls that one back and goes to the other end defensively. Smellsley had a little trouble with it. Hands were hit by Bergman, but it's going to go out of bounds off of Blue Valley. Going to stay now with Axel. 424 left to go. 52-44 is our score as we play fourth quarter action here. And Eli Broxman loses it in the corner. Too hot a half pass to handle from Grady Bussing. Turnover Eagles now as they need a defensive stop. Eight-point ball game as we play fourth quarter. Here comes the other way. Blue Valley, that's going to go to the hot hand. Brockman. Brockman's going to kick it out. Pleasant for three. He's going to can it. Jalen Pleasant, a big triple. The scorer, certified scorer from Blue Valley, only has two points here in this ball game. That's going to be a three, and that's going to force Tynan to take a timeout. Blue Valley's cut this one down 52 to 47. We're going to take the timeout with them. You're listening to TVL Tournament Championship Basketball here on KNDY 95.5. FNB Washington is truly a community-minded bank. Whether providing a community room for public use, participating in local activities, or supporting our local schools, FNB Washington is glad to help wherever they are needed. An active member of the community since 1883, businesses and families have turned to an institution they know and trust. FNB Washington, equal housing lender, FDIC. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmstead and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmstead Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmsteadrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. 52-47 is our score. A 10-point advantage at the end of the third as the window now down to five. Four minutes left to play in this ballgame. Axel still holding the lead, though. Isaac Detweiler back out there on that gimpy left ankle. Has the ball on the left side, straight, tight, man-to-man defense for Blue Valley. They go into the left block to Smelsley. Smelsley, who had the hot hand, finds Zetweiler trying to go baseline. Nice little flip out to Smelsley. Want to work the two-man game in between those. Smartly picks it up to Shaughnessy Topicki. Nice play design. Coach Tynan did a good job occupying the defense left side. A nice little inlet pass from Eli Brosham into Grady Bussing. Got actually the easy deuce on the other end. Jalen Pleasant can't find the mark from three feet away, and who else but Brandon Schnellsley pulling down that defensive board. The lock out front as Schnellsley started to run point for the Eagles. Brock Bergman's going to pick up that personal foul. Third personal now, and that's going to send Schnellsley here to the line. Schnellsley with 18 points in this contest, 14 there in the third quarter, including one triple for him, really helped Axel get out to this lead and maintain it after half. 
Free throw is up and down for Smellsley on the first one. That foul on Bergman will be his fourth personal. Two dribbles. Shot up now is good to go. Brandon Schmelzley in this contest. Five for five from the game. Defense for offense substitution. Landon Schmidt's going to come in. The freshman for Isaac Detweiler provides some defense now on Skyler Zoller for Blue Valley. Two triples and a two here are the only thing that the Rams have not able to go in this contest. Fourth quarter, three ball on the way. is going to be short there from Brockman as he has been the answer in this second half. But a one-and-done chance there for Blue Valley as we were under three minutes to go. We'll see how Axel attacks this one. we got another good play up our sleeve. Here it is, left side. Brockman into Schmelzley. Threw a lot of contact. No foul call. Pleasant comes out of there with the board. Schmelzley still wanting a foul call, but quickly the other way. Three on the way from Bergman. Going to be short. Way short from the get-go. No dice coming out of it. There is the freshman, Landon Schmidt. 234 left to play here. Jalen... Picked his pocket, Blue Valley did, on the other way, up and around the top of the park. Jalen Pleasant picks Smellsley's pocket and takes it the other way for two. Coach France is going to want to take a timeout with Blue Valley. We'll take it with them. 56-49 is our score. 2.25 left to play. When you start a plumbing or electrical project, make sure that you have what you need to get the job done. If you don't have everything you need, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber can help. Stocking a full line of electrical wiring, switches, boxes, and everything to the fixtures and even light bulbs. For that plumbing task, there's pipes, connectors and joints, faucets, toilets, and accessories. From an installation or remodel to a simple repair, get the plumbing and electrical supplies you need at one stop at Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axtell Lumber. Fifty-six to forty-nine is our score as we play fourth quarter action here between the Blue Valley Rams and the Axel Eagles. Axel held a sixteen to eight lead at the end of the first, held a thirty-three to twenty-five lead at the end of the second, extended that one up to ten at the end of the third. Blue Valley has chopped it down. They've gotten to within three points there, one point during the third. Five has been the closest they've got here in the fourth. Just not able to get over that hump. Part in part for that, Jalen Pleasant, their certified scorer, only has seven points in this ball game after a 19 point or a 17 point eruption, excuse me, the other night versus the Hanover Wildcats. 217 left to play. Axel with possession. Lead and the ball, top of the key. Detweiler's back out there on that ankle. Offense for defense substitution. Hot hand of Schmelzley has it top of the key. Schmelzley has 14 there in that third quarter. You're just joining us. Max Massey with you here in Washington. TVL tournament action going on. We're going to pay you Jayhawks as they face the Baylor Bears tonight. Live action. We'll join that one in progress just as soon as we get done here. 149 here left to play of boys championship on this Monday here in Washington. Axel taking a lot of time here and doing a good job with it too. Being smart and strong with the ball has taken off almost a minute off the clock now. 135 here left to play fourth quarter as they go left box to Bussing. Bussing inside. Shot's going to be up and we're going to have a foul on the floor. That's going to be Brock Bergman's fifth first Personal. So the senior is going to foul out now with four points in this contest with 129 here in this fourth quarter. And Brandon Schmelzley, the 6'2 sophomore, will step to the line here in this contest for two more free throws. Substitution now for Blue Valley. Landon Schreiber will check into the ball game. First free throw is down and good for Schmelzley. Smith is going to check back in for Detweiler. Again, an offensive for defensive substitution. 1.30 left to play here. Brandon Schmelzley at the line looking to extend this lead up to nine for the Eagles. And he does. Brandon Schmelzley automatic from the line here this evening. Seven for seven for 18 points. Jalen Pleasant the other way gets a bucket to go here in the latter part. That's going to be a big two, though, as it cuts it down to seven. Still plenty of time. One fifteen left to play. Smellsley is trapped off the key. Good job here by Eli Broxman to come get that ball. Come towards the passes. Don't let it get to you. 
Smith is trapped in the corner, but they're going to foul him. So that's going to send the freshman out to the line where he has not shot it extremely well tonight. I think he shot at least three or four shots, hasn't made one yet, but a defensive specialist is what this freshman then is and has shown it here in the tournament. So far here tonight, his matchup pleasant. Only has nine points. Free throw. Oh, it's going to roll off for Smith as he can't make Blue Valley pay on that one. The freshman now will step up to the line here, playing big minutes for Coach Jason Vinan in this TVL Tournament Championship run. Second free throw. Nice little back spin. going to go up and down as Smellsley gets into the scoring column. Detweiler will now check in for him. Little backward substitution out. Detweiler on defense versus Smellsley on offense. Here comes the other way. One minute left to go into the lane. That's going to be Brandon Brogman gets another two point bucket there. Actually, that's going to be Ryan Stevens getting the deuce there. Blue Valley is going to take a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take it with them. 59 53 is our score. 58 seconds left to play. Ricky's Cafe in Hanover ain't just good, it's home. From their daily specials to a full menu, choose your favorite served fresh, hot, and fast. Your family when you stop at Ricky's Cafe and you're welcome anytime. Enjoy the delicious menu choices, and of course, when you're hosting an event, bring Ricky's Catering along. With a variety of options available, always at affordable prices. Call for your next engagement and count on Ricky's Cafe at Hanover. deserves a beautiful home. Duzine Enterprises can give you that. With an interior designer on staff, you'll be able to choose flooring and furnishings that coordinate gorgeously with your lifestyle and personal style. Choose from a modern selection of carpet, luxury vinyl, laminate flooring, and tile, all put in by our certified installers. Get your beautiful home today. Call Duzine Enterprises in Washington. 58 seconds left here. Axel leading 59 to 53 is our score. Blue Valley will probably look to foul. Here comes Eli Broxman up the right side. He's going to throw it out top towards Brandon Smellsley. No one's fouling yet. Now they finally do. Grant Bussing's going to go towards the line now as an aggressive foul is going to be called against Landon Sump. His first action out into the ball game. Of course, if you are checking for KU basketball, keep it right here. We'll tune that one in. Live action as we go. Hawks trailing right now 27 to 16. First free throw is going to be up and off the front of the rim. Grady Bussey can't get that one to fall down. Forty-seven point seven seconds left to go. Fifty-nine fifty-three. Second free throw is up and good. Grady Bussing now two for four here from the free throw strike, but a big one when he needed it. Brockman's going to go down, look for a three from Stevens. He's not going to shoot it, going to get stomped at the elbow. Someone's going to have to start firing up a three here. It's going to be pleasant off the key, thought about it. No, nope, he's going to go baseline into Isaac Detweiler. Big charge called. Isaac Detweiler, the senior, picks up Jalen Pleasant. Fifth personal foul as he's going to foul out. But even bigger, that's going to end Blue Valley's scoring chance on that possession and give the ball back now to Axel. So Jalen Pleasant, the scoring senior, is going to check out of this ball game with nine points in this contest. Axel underneath Blue Valley's basket looking to inbound it, gets it off to Eli. Eli's going to be found, and Bronxman will now step up to the line. Boy, what a big foul, what a big charge call that was there. Isaac Dentweiler, the senior, the, of course, two-time eight-man division player of the year. A very good basketball player in his own right, but a savvy veteran move there to pick up the charge in the final 20 seconds. Boxerman can't get that one to fall down as he falls back off the free throw line a little bit. Coach Heinen saying stay up with it. Second free throw is going to be up, and that one's going to be short as well. So Boxerman goes 0 for 2 for the line. Seven-point ball game here as Blue Valley's pushing. An easy two now up for Sump is down and good. Land Logan Sump gets his first two of the ball game. And we're going to have a foul again. Isaac Detweiler, 
took that ball where he needed to be, and he's going to step up to the line. Two free throws now for the senior. Place where he wants to be. On that gimpy leg is sustained there in the second quarter, has toughed this one through, and played very good basketball here this evening. First free throw is going to be short, though, as Dentweiler can't find the mark from the line. So, Axel giving Blue Valley a chance now. 60 to 55, 19 seconds left to play. Still a two possession game, unless Dentweiler is able to make the second of two, and he does. Big free throw there from the seniors. Eight seconds left to go. Blue Valley's going to push it. They're going to try a little three top of the key. No. This handoff. Hines running out. Bushing gets the steal. We're going to have a jump ball, and that's going to stay Blue Valley's way. But who else but Brandon Schmelzley getting into that action, forcing the jump ball and forcing at Blue Valley to stop that set and reset. 11.6, 61.55 left to play. Here goes Stevens down the left side into the lane. Goes Zoller. Zoller's going to be pushed on the foul. So 6.3 seconds left to go. Skyler Zoller will now step up to the line for two free throws. That foul on Han Axel is going to be on Colin Shaughnessy, the second for the freshman. First free throw is going to hit every part of the rim and finally drop it down. So Blue Valley is out of timeouts. They're going to have to foul here again if Zeller is able to make this next one. 6.3 left to play. Free throw is going to be up and good, too. So I expect another foul here. Gets it in the Bronx. Gets it in there to Broxman, and now Eli Broxman is going to take the long walk down to the other end of the court here for two free throws. 5.4 seconds left to go. 61-57 is our score. Axel leading in this one and led from the get-go. Eli Broxman's first free throw is going to be up and good after the sophomore just went 0 for 2 from the line. We'll turn that up around and make the first one of two. Shaughnessy now will step out. Smells way back into the game. Free throw up and down for Broxerman. Five seconds left to go. Axel leading 63-57. Three ball on the way from Stevens. That's going to be no good. And Axel is your 2023 TVL Tournament Champion here in Washington. Congratulations to both teams. We're going to take a timeout, come back and look at stats and scores from this contest, and then get you right on over to KU. Circle P Processing of Waterville has processing openings available now. Their mission is to not only provide the professional meat processing their customers expect, but ensure timely and transparent service and prices. Be assured that when you bring your meat to Circle P, you are getting exactly what you brought in. Always remaining local and loyal to their customers. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. Be sure to visit their website, circlepprocessing.com, for pricing and ordering information. Turn to Cottage Hill Egg Supply in Waterville when you need to take your crops to the next level. Start with top quality channel seed, complete with treatments and delivery. Precision planting equipment gives you optimum seed spacing, singulation, and depth control. Kilbro Seed Tenders are dependable for delivering seed to the field and planter. And Darren carries sprayer parts, fertilizer parts, and Conklin Ag products so you have the best growing season ever. Grow your best with Cottage Hill Ag Supply. Everyone's wanting to reduce, reuse, and recycle. How about reducing the amount of money leaving your bank account every month? With income-based living and reduced cable bill costs for everyone, Waterville Housing Authority is your housing partner. Enjoy maintenance-free and comfortable living in one- or two-bedroom apartments. Check out their Facebook page or call 785-363-2239. That's 785-363-2239. From the ground up, Midwest Product Hanover can assist with concrete drives, parking, walks, entries, foundations, and support walls. Quality people help produce quality products, and you can rely on their crews for a job done right. Concrete plants at Hanover, Washington, and Clay Center. Midwest products also haul rock, sand, and gravel. They have a crane for rent and can assist with site preparation. Start your next job with a call for a quote today from Midwest Products at Hanover. 
Take the worry out of ordering and refilling your propane tanks with Kramer Oil. Great people to work with. Their family has been serving your family since 1976. Customize your account with delivery and automatic refill, prepaid discount, or level billing options available. Hard work, integrity, and dedication to the community are hallmarks that Kramer Oil lives by and promise to deliver for you. Join the family today with a phone call to Kramer Oil in Marysville. Find them online at KramerOil.com. What do you do when the unexpected happens? You may wonder what's next. Who do I call? What should I do? Christy Anders Funeral Home is here to support you through this phase of life by providing support and personal services while helping you create a beautiful and unique tribute for your loved ones. Christy Anders Funeral Home is family owned and operated and proud to offer affordable personalized packages to fit any budget. Visit Christy Anders Funeral Home in Waterville or at www.apfunerals.com. So the Axel Eagles are your 2023 TVL Boys Champions. Blue Valley Rams are your runners up in the girls' side. It was the Hanover Wildcats winning it over the Donovan West Mustangs. Looking at scores from this Axel Blue Valley game, starting with the Rams, they were led by Ryan Stevens, who had 19. Skyler Zeller almost also pitched in 14, nine points for Jalen Pleasant, four for Brock Bergman, two apiece for Dakota Cross and Landon Sump, and off the bench, Brandon Brockman had seven. Axel led 16 to eight at the end of the first quarter, and that was all she wrote as that eight point advantage is all that Axel needed. Axel was led by Brandon Schmidt, Smelsley, excuse me, who had 22 points in that contest, 14 in the fourth quarter alone, ended with 18 there in the second half. 15 also from Eli Brockshman, who had 11 at the end of the first half. Isaac Detweiler had 11 points total, 10 at the end of the first half, but a rolled ankle kind of dampered him in the second half, but a tough senior nonetheless. Six points for Grady Bussing, two points for Colin Shaughnessy. Landon Smith pitched in one, and Grant Bussing had six big ones off the bench there in the first half. Once again, congratulations to the Axel Eagles for the boys' championship. Hanover Lady Wildcats for the girls. Congratulations to the Blue Valley Rams on runners-up in the boys' side, and congratulations to the Austin West Mustangs for runners-up on the girls' side. Thank you again to all our sponsors that has made this week possible. Once again, for KNDY Radio, for your last time here in Washington at the 2023 PBL Tournament Championship.